Hey everyone, today we're gonna to take a look at Elementor, especially if you're trying to build a site on WordPress that actually looks the way you want without having to dive into code or settle for something that feels generic. Because once you start working with a few themes or builders, it doesn't take long to realize how hard it is to just get things looking the way you want. And that's where Elementor comes in because it turns WordPress into a full visual design tool. So you're not locked into rigid layouts and you're not stuck hiring a developer just to make simple changes. So in this video, I wanna walk you through exactly how it works, what the different plan options are and why it's such a great option for creatives, marketers, even small businesses who just want a site that feels uniquely theirs. So Elementor gives you two different ways to build your site. And the main difference just comes down to how much setup you wanna deal with. The first option is the plugin. You install it on your own WordPress site and that'll get you access to Elementor's visual design tools. But you're still in charge of everything else, hosting, domains, backup security. If you already got a WordPress setup you're comfortable with, it can totally work. But if you're just starting from scratch, it's a lot to piece together. So the second option is Elementor hosting, which is a lot more of an all-in-one route. It's managed WordPress hosting with Elementor Pro pre-installed. So you don't have to mess with any technical setup. Just sign in and start designing. You still get all the same tools, but the whole thing is so much easier to use and the support is already built in. Either way, you're working with the same simple builder. Just drag elements onto the page, you know, text, images, buttons, everything. Adjust right there on the screen. It's not locked into rows or columns either. Elementor uses flex boxes for containers, so you can nest things, move sections around, and fine tune your layout exactly how you want. And if you're looking to sell products as well, Elementor works great with WooCommerce. Woo handles your actual store setup, and Elementor gives you control over how it all looks. Product pages, cards, checkout, you got everything. Now let's check out the pricing side of this. And it's gonna look a little different depending on what you're after. If you need the plugin, cool. If you want the proper hosting with everything baked in, that's an option too. On the plugin route, plans will start 60 bucks per year for one website. And that'll get you over 50 pro widgets and full access to the design tools. From there, you've got the $100 plan, which lets you manage three different sites. Then $205 gets you 25 sites and a $400 agency level tier will get you up to a thousand websites. So it really just scales depending on how many projects you need to manage. Then with Elementor hosting, it works a little differently. Instead of managing your own server and install, it's a full setup that includes WordPress, Elementor Pro, SSL, backups, a bunch more stuff. And it's all pre-configured. Now that starts off at around 15 to 35 bucks a month a build annually and if you're running a larger site or you want features like staging environments the enterprise plan adds even more bandwidth and storage and just to clarify elementor does not charge any transaction fees like at all if you're using woocommerce and connect a payment processor like stripe or paypal their normal rates will still apply but elementor itself does not take a cut and if you are thinking about giving elementor a try there's an affiliate link down in the description it doesn't cost you anything extra but it does help support the channel and sometimes we have some special offers there that you just won't see on their main site so feel free to check that out if you're curious. So everything inside Elementor runs through that visual builder. You just drag in what you need, text buttons, images, everything, and adjust directly on the page. You don't have to switch tabs or guess what something is gonna look like. You just make changes and see them live. There's also a theme builder, which handles the broad structure of your site. So your header, your footer, or your blog layout, stuff like that. And you can turn those designs on or off across different parts of your site. It's especially helpful if you're managing more than just a couple of pages. Then for stores, it works basically the same way. Elementor connects with WooCommerce and you get full control over your product pages, card and check, out. So even if the back end is totally standard, the front end still feels like your brand. And if you're trying to work quickly or build out some cool ideas for a client, there's a built-in AI that can help. It can write, copy, translate text, generate styles, even create simple images. There's also a layout assistant, they call it Angie, and it helps you get your structure down when you're starting from scratch. See, it's not about just having more tools. It's about having a smoother, faster path to something that looks finished. Now, if you've ever used a slow site builder, you know this feeling, where you're just trying to change one word on your about page, and you're sitting there waiting for the editor to load. Then you finally get in, make the tweak, and hit save, only to realize uh, you forgot to check the mobile layout. So you gotta go back and do the whole process over again just to move a little button over by 10 pixels. Like, 
that kind of drag, it can turn a simple update into a full afternoon. You can hear it in my voice, I've been there. And that's where Elementor really starts to shine. Everything in the builder responds instantly. You make a change, it's live right there on the screen. No lag, no reloads, no losing your place mid edit. And behind the scenes, the code it outputs is light. So your site doesn't just build faster, it runs faster once it's live. Like you're not fighting the tool, you're just getting things done and moving on. And by the way, this is not just a tool for web designers or people who already know how to code. Elementor is for literally anyone who just wants their site to look polished, flexible, and easy to update, even if you're building it yourself. If you're a designer, it gives you full creative control without ever having to mess with custom CSS. If you're a marketer, it's quick to spin up landing pages or promo sections that match your campaign. And if you're running a business, you can update your own site whenever you want without having to wait around for someone else to do it. It also works well for freelancers and small agencies, especially if you're managing sites across different industries. Because the builder stays consistent, it's always, and the workflow is fast enough that you're not spending hours trying to customize every theme from scratch. And if you're totally brand new to WordPress, Elementor hosting makes the whole setup easier. You just log in and start designing with everything already configured behind the scenes. Now, a lot of people ask, how does this compare to something like Shopify, right? Honestly, it's not really about one being better, you know? It's about what you're trying to build because Elementor is the king of visual freedom. It's when the look is everything. If you want a portfolio that blows people away, a custom landing page with a specific layout, or you just want total control over every pixel in the screen, Elementor gives you that power. You are the architect, right? Shopify, on the other hand, it's, I would call it the ultimate sales engine. It's built for commerce first. You might trade a little bit of that unlimited design freedom, but in exchange, you get a whole powerhouse system that handles inventory, shipping, and payments flawlessly right out of the box. It is built to scale massive stores without breaking a sweat. So if your main focus is design and you're already using WordPress or you just wanna own more of the creative side, Elementor gives you that flexibility. If you're primarily selling and you want something purpose-built for product management and transactions, Shopify leans more in that direction. Both are absolutely incredible tools. You just have to pick which one matches your goal. So if you've been trying to build a site that looks the way you've pictured it in your head without getting stuck every step of the way, Elementor really helps make that possible. And if you wanna check it out, there is that link down in the description. And we usually have some special offers there that you will not find on their main site. Also, if you're interested in working with us or sponsoring a future video, please just reach out using the email in the description below. I would really appreciate a thumbs up if you found this all helpful. And if you've got any questions at all, go ahead and drop those in the comments. I'll do my best to answer as many as I can. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.